You know, I like it when you say, oh, yeah, we'll wrap it up in a couple hours, but you're talking <laughs> like 24 hours. Yeah, it's about 24 hours. You're exactly right. So we will wrap this up. There's a there's a definite time about 10 o'clock tomorrow uh, when this front will likely clear Southern California. But that that's a lot of real estate between now and then. And a lot of rainfall is falling. Orange County Inland Empire still uh, waves of heavy rain continue to move through San Bernardino and Riverside and Corona. Oftentimes, you will not get the heaviest rainfall in the Inland Empire because an atmospheric river is at the bottom of the atmosphere and that moisture hits the Santa Ana's, doesn't go up and over, so Orange County gets the heavy rain, but you don't. In this case, the moisture profile is a little bit higher, so you are getting the heavy rainfall right now, and even though you got very little yesterday, today is your soggy day in the Inland Empire, also Orange County. I want to highlight Eastern Ventura County. First time I've showed you this morning. Why? It is raining very lightly. Your heavy rain was Sunday night and yesterday. You will get light rain at times today in and around Thousand Oaks and Oxnard and Camarillo. And then we'll get pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall at times. There's one leaving Anaheim, one heading over Irvine. So it'll come in waves, uh, but more on than off. Montecito, Santa Barbara County, to show you the video from there. Nine inches of rain. Their bullseye was Sunday. Malibu. Half a foot of rainfall almost. Chatsworth, two and a half inches of rain. Downtown Los Angeles, uh, one and a quarter inches of rainfall. Norwalk in Paris, Inland Empire, uh, you have had um, markedly less rain. Paris just coming up on a half of an inch of rain, slightly more than that. Now, if L.A. gets another half inch of rain, we will have a foot of rain just for the month of February. The last time that we had a month, just one month with a foot of rain or more, it's February of 1998. That was exactly 26 years ago. It has been a quarter of a century since we've been as wet in a month that we're in right now. Uh, waves of rain moving through throughout the day. Front's coming. That's going to clear us out. That's good news. The not good news is it bumps up the thunderstorm risk as it gets here. Breezy to windy at times uh, anywhere throughout Southern California, but especially our mountains and mountain passes. Front clears by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when the rain and even the clouds are going to move out. Ontario soggy morning for you. It is 54 degrees. Highs today, uh, not moving much from where we are right now. Camarillo 63, Lancaster 57, Los Angeles 61 degrees, Riverside 60, Temecula 56. Uh, what is an atmospheric river? Comes from the tropics. It's really heavy rainfall and it's really narrow. It's amazing that you can follow the plume of rain all the way down to the equator. It's just getting pulled up. It's a narrow band of heavy rain and it's sitting over us, specifically Orange County Inland Empire throughout the day today. A little bit of a decrease in rain this evening as we wait for that front to arrive. When it does, another burst of heavy rain with that thunderstorm chance. But when that moves out, the rain moves out, and the rain chance will be finished by about mid-morning tomorrow, if not sooner. Additional rain from now until then, anywhere from half of an inch of rain to one inch of new rain, which doesn't sound like much, but that could exacerbate some existing flooding concerns. So we will be soggy today. We'll be wet tomorrow morning. Then it moves out. And for the metro area, we're sunny and dry Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's your KCAL forecast. Paul, thank you. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.